From the iron meteorites falling out the sky to the sparks of molten steel flying out of a furnace. The element of iron has been embraced by the universe. Accompanied by roaring flames, it echoes the melodies sounded by the stream of sweat beads rolling off the human brow. The molten steel in the midst of fiery blaze embodies the element's incandescent beauty and strength. This painting titled Molten Steel and Sweat was created by the painter Guang Tingbo some four decades ago. With this extraordinary verisimilitude, the image focuses on the most crucial factors in steel making, the power and the strength of human will that is tougher than any metal. Humanity has long undertaken the bold attempt to tame and conquer the element of iron. The endeavor inspired the birth of art and civilization. The emergence of a great painting often resembles the forging of a piece of finest steel. The image seems to have materialized not out of oil colors, but rather from the searing flames. The intensity of the human figure is conveyed through the knit brows, the rivulets of sweat, and the unwavering gaze into the molten steel. It brims with the most powerful poignancy. can imagine that such a spontaneous image was crafted over a period of three years. Around 1980, as China began to recover and prosper, an uplifting force was infecting everyone. In the prime of his life, Guang Tingbo felt the urge to pick up his brush 
and portray this inspiring epic that was rapidly unfolding. In the beginning, Guang Tingbo was at a loss as to how to approach the subject matter of a steel plant. He found himself boxed in by an invisible wall that kept him from the ideal image. To surmount the obstacle, he took the bluntest approach by settling in the workshop and sketching whatever met his eyes. From 1979 to 1981, Guang Tingbo paid numerous visits to steel plants. He produced over 100 detailed sketches and dozens of drawings to record the scenes before the furnace. Even as he came to feel the passions of the times and the workers' devotion, Guang Tingbo was still unsure about how to compose the image. He refused to dash off a routine depiction of a steel-making workshop. The ideas stored in his head underwent numerous revisions, until a casual encounter inspired him. What kind of thing is Han Ru? Just this one. He passed this moment, and the fire was shining on the Han Ru's face, like a flashing light, like a flashing light, like a flashing light, like a flashing light, like a flashing light. 形成一种优化所表现的载体。有了它，我怕啥 ？Following the sudden revelation, everything fell into place. Guang Tingbo decided to capture the human figure in his various postures at rest. To visualize the workers' hard labor and unconquerable spirit, he filled the scene with the most concrete details. Including the bulging veins, and the strong sinewy hands, and the sweat dripping off the arms and shoulders. The fleeting yet vivid expressions and gestures of the workers proceeded in his mind's eye in slow motion, like the images on the silver screen. In his first draft, Guang Tingbo was eager to crowd all these details into the composition. The next draft proved more judicious and targeted. Next came the third draft and the fourth. Working in the heat of high summer. Guang Tingbo was covered in sweat, like the figures on his canvas. He used realistic realism, even at Molten steel and sweat emerged after three years of hard work. In this image of profound dignity, the sweat streaming down the rippling muscles of human figures, dominating and enlivening the composition. Now, 
有高光的感觉。全部画完以后，我一惊讶，感染这个冲击力，我也没想到。这幅画从侧面可能提示我们钢铁是怎样炼成的，钢水和汗水是怎样一种关系。所以梅花香子苦寒来嘛，很多劳动的成果是从汗水中来的，给我们这样的启发和教育。这个启发和教育是永恒的真理。The sweat conveys the most essential insights into human endeavor and art. Perseverance is bound to prevail. 准备。Perhaps each era and each individual has to surmount an invisible wall, which takes grit and courage to conquer. Then the human spirit will fly and soar like the sparks from the furnace.